Hello, this here is uh, going to be a short little tutorial on how to make your sketches look nice and crisp. So the first thing you're going to do is you'll drop in your image into Photoshop. Uh, here is my uh, quick little sketch of a stage. And then what you want to do is you'll want to hold Control, Shift, and U to desaturate uh, the image. That's Control, Shift, U all at the same time. Then the second step is you will uh, press Control L or you can go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Now what you'll want to do is bring in the highlights a little bit. This will brighten up your page and you'll want to bring in the uh, the kind of the grays here to kind of bring in some contrast. The closer these are to each other, the more contrast you'll have. Now if the white goes too far, you'll start to kind of blow out uh, your sketch, which obviously that's not good. So we want to leave it to a point where it brightens a page, but we still can see the sketch. Then you want to bring in the grays to where there is uh, it really starts to darken lines, but not too much. And you'll see that when we do the uh, floor plan sketch, that it can be really necessary to really kind of play with these to get it just to where it looks like you have an even playing ground here. Because then the next thing you're going to do after hitting OK is you're going to come over here to the Dodge tool. It looks like a uh, lollipop there. Um, it's kind of in the middle ish for me uh, on this uh, toolbar. And then, of course, you can use the brackets to change the size of your brush. And you can um, lower the hardness down. Not necessarily necessary, but um, I like to do that when I'm doing this sort of thing. And then the key thing here is the exposure. So I have it set to 11. I usually do you know, 9 to 11 percent. Um, there's nothing scientific about those numbers. It's just keeping it kind of low like that really helps because then the last thing and the fun part is you are going to then kind of paint around to get rid of the noise. And so as you can see here, look at that. Nice crisp line drawings almost. And you can really level up your uh, sketching here, make it look nice and contrasty, really clean, and something like that. And it's just a lot nicer to look at. Now we'll try a floor plan sketch. So this is a kind of a low quality image. It's going to be kind of a tough one because as you can see I've got a lot of highlights from a lamp here and it's kind of getting a shadow here. You want a fairly um, uh, evenly lit um, surface of uh, your drawing. Um, the lighting be even otherwise it's going to get kind of hard doing that contrast. So again control shift U. As you can see it's a grayscale then control L and now I'm going to move this in to the point where it's lightening the page without losing too much information bring, bring this in but not too much because you can see I'm really crunching that and that's gonna look kinda nasty here and you'll see what I mean when we start using the dodge tool so something like that might be usable so now I already have my dodge tool selected and I'm gonna start painting and I'm gonna kinda go around and around because there's a lot of noise here that's trying to work out here um, but it's still working as you can see um, and also part of the reason it's taking so long um, to remove the noise and I'm going back and forth is because uh, I have it so low now if I were to bump this up to maybe 36 or something as you can see it really knocks out pretty fast there and for this that might be necessary but of course you risk losing information that you don't want to lose now as you can see it is working somewhat um, but again it's not working as well as the other sketch because it was not lit very well and now you can see what I was talking about that crunching now it's just looking really like uh, it almost looks worse in a way um, so that's the importance of keeping your image well lit uh, evenly so it'll turn out a little more like that uh, as opposed to this. Um, but of course, you know, um, if this is all you have, you can come back, get, grab your brush, your typical brush tool, raise the hardness back up, and then I'm going to shrink this with the brackets, the brush size. Click here, hold shift, click on the other end, and I can kind of clean up these lines here. 
but again that's just kind of not great so uh, that's why it's important to have a good image to start with and then play with those sliders and then the dodge tool and then you'll have something that looks good and so there you go thanks for watching